people. Vice Chancellor, we are here in this number. Many of us, as you can see, for quite a number of reasons. I'm going to stipulate them and then give a leader from the EFF Student Command to also read out a memorandum. I'm just going to do a summary of it. VC, it's almost March. The students that are standing here, they've never received allowances. Food allowances, book allowances. They do not have data to perform their school duties. They are expected daily to wake up, go to class, attend classes in empty stomachs, without books, without data. They are expected to submit assignments. They are expected to log in and have online classes without necessarily machinery to perform all those things. Secondly, VC, there is an agreement between yourselves and the SRC that seeks to exclude students financially. Financial exclusion, VC, cannot lead to academic exclusion. You and me, we have one common thing. We're black. Amen. You understand poverty. Majority of those students are unable to afford we're pleading to your conscience that let's develop a mechanism that will allow all of them to come back in the system. We care about the institution. Even Mizu must research ways to raise funds for the institutions. Let's have all these brilliant minds here and come up with a solution. Thirdly to that, there are private accommodation students here who they have not been paid for since last year. For quite a number of political reasons that we do not know, they are unable to move in anywhere because landlords have organized themselves in associations to say one delay when he stays in your house, he doesn't pay. Therefore, don't take him. Some of them are unable to take things that they have left last year because landlords are saying, we are holding this for our security because you are not paid for. And it's not their fault. They are NSF students. When we write to NSFAS, they claim that they have given the invested money to pay. We don't know what could be the politics. Internally, we don't want to assume. We are not interested in those politics. We are interested in the people that we are representing. And we are saying, let them be paid for. So we are not here with complicated things, VC. We are here with very simple things. And by the time we finish here, we are hoping that we will be having a progressive outlook and a line of march. If we can leave here, VC, with a date soon of when we are receiving our monies. If we can leave here, VC, with a progressive strategy of including those that are excluded, of finding ways to accommodate international students who are unable to pay 100%, we'll be able. If we can leave here, VC, with a progressive response on what ought to happen to the students who are NSFAS funded from the year 2023 who are not paid for, for no reason that is explained to them. Reasons are explained to whoever, I don't know who. We don't know them as students. It is what we want. It is what we are here for. We will not have a chaos. We have pleaded with students, angry as they are, that we don't want violence. We did not disrupt any classes. We did not retain anyone from coming to work. We did not vandalize anything. We were peaceful. Our guerrilla securities, they were marshalling us nicely. Record Kalavona, Balimba Sadi Rishelana, Balimbana, Balimbana, and Abubaza, Miawana VC. So we're peaceful people. We're here with that request as all political formation. We're going to request to read the memorandum to you, submit it to you. If needs be that we have a meeting, you direct a certain number from political organizations we deliberate by the time we finish here we live with a solution we'll be more than happy thank you very much